welcome back to my channel so today's video is very different but first of all if you're new here my name is Nengi and I usually record videos on fashion travel lifestyle and all that good stuff but today's video is very different and it's simply because I just thought I would touch on this subject because it's something I've struggled with for a little while and yeah maybe if there are people who also are you know dealing with skin issues that they don't really talk about i just thought that i put myself out there so i'm doing this video for me more so than anyone else now i struggled with my skin for quite some time and it's due to my hyperpigmentation so hyperpigmentation is just basically where there are darker marks on your skin and yeah they're basically darker than certain parts of your skin so you can get like hyperpigmentation on your body you can get it on your face on your back you can get hyperpigmentation anywhere really now i'm a confident person i've always been a confident person but i've always felt like my skin just made me feel a little less confident than i would have preferred so i would hold my head up high go out without makeup but it wasn't something i was genuinely happy with i just did it because i was just like it's not the worst thing in the world just do it but I've never really been 100% happy with it. Now, my mom also had hyperpigmentation when she was younger and she would always tell me like, Nengi, don't worry about it, it's going to pass, like it'll go. And I understand that and I appreciate her saying that, but at the end of the day, I don't want it to pass when I'm in my 40s, 50s, 60s. I want it to pass in my youth when I can flex with my skin. So I decided to use different things so I started using something called Obagi it was good but I felt like it was making me a little bit lighter than I would have liked because I'm a dark skin girl as you can tell and I felt like Obagi you couldn't pinpoint the dark hyperpigment hyperpigmented marks you would put them on you put the creams and stuff on your skin but it's now sort of like depigmenting the places that don't need to be depigmented and that was an issue for me so I stopped using it and then I went to Lagos during Christmas. I was there for like four months. That's the longest I've been in years and I really enjoyed it. But that's for another video. I went there and I went to, I visited this clinic called, um, what's it called? The Aesthetic Clinic in Lekki in Lagos. And it was amazing. I did a skin peel called Clarity Peel with Micro Droplet. Now the Clarity Peel is all over your face, but the Micro Droplets, they put it on the exact dark marks. And I felt like that really, really helped my skin. Like this is my skin now and I'm so happy and proud of it because I've never had an issue with like bumps, like raised skin or like, you know, pimples, which is why when I wear foundation, I don't look like I have any hyperpigmentation because everything is smooth. So I'm very grateful for that. That's why I started this saying that everybody has, you know, some skin issue or the other. Some people have eczema, some people have, you know, vitiligo, some people, everybody has something. And I know there's people, there are people with the perfect skin, but I still feel like everybody has something that they struggle with a little bit. And this was mine. So I just, for years, I've just wanted to do something about it. And fortunately I was in Lagos and I got the clarity peel and the micro droplet peel as well, which has resulted in this. So this isn't a finish um, look, but I will insert a video of my experience with the um, clarity peel. And I'll let you know how it's how it went. So guys, my hair is so frizzy, but I'm literally going, oh, drop of water. I'm literally going into Clinic Aesthetic for my uh, micro droplet peel. As you can see, my forehead has the spots. I also have it on my chest, but that's for a different day. But yeah, I'm going in now and I'm really excited to see how it goes, how yeah, how everything goes. But I'll update you guys. But obviously, go back to this space. This is it now and I'm not mad at it. I feel like I still would love to go back for one more or two more peels because there's still some dark marks on my chin, my mouth area and my forehead. My forehead is pretty clear but I'm not 100%. Hi guys, so this is day three of the Clarity Peel Micro Droplet um, Peel and as you can see the marks are a lot darker and that's just because the Micro Droplet kind of darkens the spots so they kind of crystallize and it's it makes them darker before they like scar they fall off so this is how i'm looking on day three so yeah my issue has never really been like acne but when i get spots they leave a, leave a scar and that's what's happened all here so but 
yeah it's just not the nicest feeling especially if there's something you're struggling with you know it just makes you feel like you can't 100 percent be your confident self that you probably are or you have the potential to be and that is why i decided to do that peel um if you guys have any you know suggestions on what else you have done or if you've read anything or you know done research on hyperpigmentation on dark skin i would love to hear all about that in the comments below and i'll also leave a link to you know the clinic aesthetic aesthetic clinic um this isn't sponsored but i really did like my treatment there hi guys so this is a day four of the peeling process and as you can see only my mouth is peeling kind of gross in fact it's very gross can't believe i'm doing this but the only reason it's peeling to me is because i have to eat and in order to eat i have to open my mouth which kind of makes a crack in the stuff my forehead isn't peeling cheeks they're kind of hard but they're not peeling nothing's peeling chin not peeling just the lips so i'm, I'm gonna need the rest of my face to peel so i can receive or find this new skin layer that they've told me about so yeah i'm looking forward to it this is gross by and it can be a little bit pricey but i did like the results so i definitely would leave a link and i'll show you what i'm using to keep, maintain my skin at the moment which i also got from clinic aesthetic give me one second so i'm back now this is my facial wash i don't know if you can see it properly but it is diva skin and it is 5% glycolic acid and 2% salic salicylic acid. I find this very, very great. Like I love, I love the way it foams when I wash my face. I also use one of those Clarisonic brushes sometimes to go a bit deeper, but I just love it. And the consistency is great. And if you have the opportunity to get it and you suffer from sort of like, you know, hyperpigmentation, anything with glycolic acid and salicylic acid is really good for that. The toner is Mary Kay, it's called Clear Proof. I really love this toner. It can kind of be drying, but I really, really do like it. Like, I feel like it controls my blemishes and it does say, there's someone at the door. I'm back guys, that was my Amazon delivery. I got one of those things that you prop your laptop on whilst you're in bed, because I do a lot of work from my bed. I know people say that they can't really work from their bed, they have to be at their desk. And I'm kind of a bit of both. I feel like I still do good work in my bed as long as I have that little table thing now I'm out of breath just running the stairs are not even that many Whew. okay so I think I was talking about this um and the light has changed um okay we'll just go with it I think I was talking about this clear proof toner this clear proof toner can be a bit drying but it's really good it does it does really help my blemishes so it has two percent salicylic acid and yeah, I think that's what it, what it has. They've just said 2% salicylic acid in three different languages, so I thought there was more. But yeah, it's a blemish control toner. Can be a bit dry, but I do like it and I, f I feel like it works. Now, I use Demologica's um, daily microfolium just for when I want to... Is it focusing? It's not focusing. Sorry, guys. This is a small version because I was traveling and I wanted to buy the travel size. So yeah, there's a bigger one. I think it's like 30... I don't know how, how big it is. But anyways, I use this as an exfoliator. I like it because it's not too harsh. And yeah, it does the job. Like it removes blackheads and things like that. And then I use this, which is called Rejuva. It is from the Aesthetic Clinic. It is one of their products. And I find it really good. It has a lot of things in it though. So I don't tend to use it often, but I use it at every other night. And it has, gosh, it has a lot. 0.05 retinoic acid, 10% niacinamide, 20% L-ascorbic acid, 3% tran tranexamic acid, and hyaluronic acid. And these are all depigmenting agents, which is why I don't use it every day and I only use it at night. And I try my best to put it only on the like dark marks. So all in all, that's what I'm using. So yeah, if you guys feel like there's anything else you know that would work for, you know, dark skin i would be so happy to hear like i'm literally all ears but i thought i'd share this video and as i said it's more so for me because now i feel really great having come on youtube with my bare face and just talking about the whole situation and i know there are people with worse skin conditions and so i just thought i'd share this as it was something that bothered me for quite a while 
but I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you stay till the end, I appreciate you guys. And please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit the bell for to be notified when I post new videos. And yeah, I'm really excited to be going on this YouTube journey for like the third time, but I'm not quitting this time, I promise you. Anyways, see you in the next video, guys. Bye.